In ancient Greece, Pythagoras and his followers had a profound effect on another Greek philosopher, Plato, whose ideas also resonate to this day, especially among mathematicians. Plato believed that geometry and mathematics exist in their own ideal world. So when we draw a circle on a piece of paper, this is not the real circle. The real circle is in that world, uh, and this is just an approximation of that real circle, and the same with all other shapes. And Plato liked very much these five solids, the platonic solids we call them today, and he assigned each one of them to, to one of the elements that formed the world as he saw it. The stable cube was Earth. The tetrahedron with its pointy corners was fire. The mobile looking octahedron Plato thought of as air. And the 20 sided icosahedron was water. And finally, the dodecahedron, this was the thing that signified the cosmos as a whole. So Plato's mathematical forms were the ideal version of the world around us, and they existed in their own realm. And however bizarre that may sound, that mathematics exists in its own world, shaping the world we see, it's an idea that to this day many mathematicians and scientists can relate to. The sense they have when they're doing math that they're just uncovering something that's already out there. I feel quite strong that mathematics is discovered in my work as a mathematician. It always feels to me there is a thing out there and I'm kind of trying to find it and understand it and touch it. As someone who actually has had the pleasure of making new mathematics, it feels like there's something there before you get to it. If I have to choose, I think it's more discovered than invented because I think there's a, a reality to what we study in mathematics. When we do good mathematics, we're discovering something about the way our minds work in interaction with the world. Well, I know that because that's what I do. I come to my office, I sit down in front of my whiteboard, and I try and understand that thing that, that's out there. And every now and then, I'm discovering a new bit of it. That's exactly what it feels like. To many mathematicians, it feels like math is discovered rather than invented. But is that just a feeling? Could it be that mathematics is purely a product of the human brain?